Hey guys, it's Ray, and do you want to know how to make a repeating pattern? Well, I'm going to show you here today. So, what is an example of a repeating background, and what can they be used for? So, this is an example right here. I made this a little while ago. It was for a shirt. Speaking of shirts and what things can be used for, repeating patterns can be used for like a bunch of things. They're good for products. They're good for designs on pattern shirts. You can add them to your background. You could make your own texture, which I'll be making in this video, but they're used for a bunch of things. So let's get started on how you actually wanna go about doing this. So you wanna make a new canvas. Mine is 1,500 by 1,500. You basically just want it to be a square. You don't have to follow what I, my canvas size to the T. It could be however big or however small you would like. Okay, returning back over to this. Things to note not to do. You want to make sure you label your canvas. Uh, I didn't when I was making mine, but like labeling your corners is really important because you want to be thinking about this in squares, right? My squares aren't very even, but you get the point. That's if you think about it like that, it's going to be a lot easier in the long run, all right? Another thing to do is make sure you don't go to the edge of your canvas like this. Don't, don't do that. It's no, don't, don't do that at all. That's not good. Not good. Don't do it. Instead, do something like this. Make sure they aren't touching the sides. Make sure there's some space. It doesn't have to be a lot of space as long as there's space, okay? I'll, I'll join you guys back again when you're ready to do the repeating process. So you've finished the first half of your pattern and are ready to get started with the repeating process. This is where things get a little bit complicated. Remember when I told you to number your corners? This is where this comes really in handy. So you're going to want to start off by making a new canvas that is half the amount, which is half the size of your original. So mine is 1,500 by 1,500. The, the new one is going to be 750 by 750, as you can see right here. I already made it. In simple terms, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be transferring the corners to different sides. So one's going to go over to four, two is going to go over to three, three is going to go over to two, four is going to go over to one. It sounds easy. It is pretty easy. But trust me, things can go wrong. I know firsthand. So let's get started on how you want to go about doing that. So... The order that I like to go in is one, three, two, four. This will make more sense as we go along. Starting off with your one section like this, you're going to want to open your canvas, it's canvas size, which is under edit, and it's at the very bottom. But for the rest of this tutorial, I'm going to be using the shortcut, which is control alt C. You're going to want to press, you're going to want to turn this into the size of your smaller canvas, and then you're going to want to move it to the top left. As you can see, now only the number one square is selected. Copy that over to your new canvas, should look like this. Now open that up and you're going to want to make your height the size of your original canvas. So for me that's 1500, for you it's however big you made your canvas originally. Then you're going to want to press the bottom right and as you can see this canvas is moved downwards and there should be room for the next canvas to go. Going back over to this canvas you're going to want to undo all your progress and then open up your canvas size again. Repeat what you just did. So 750, so make it the size of the smaller canvas, 750 by 750 for me. Then you're gonna wanna go to the bottom left. You're gonna wanna copy that over and paste. So now, as you can see, there is a little gap there. That is perfect. You did it right in that case. And you're gonna wanna open this again and make it the size of your original canvas for both sides. And this time, rather than going to any of the corners, you just want to press the right button. 
you really want to avoid the center tool avoid these like the plague okay now go like that and they should be moved over to the right you need to prep it one more time open up that canvas size tool and make it once again 750 you're gonna want to make the height this time by 750 and the width by 1500 and move it down to the bottom left and then make sure make sure 100% make sure that this the delete area outside canvas is turned off okay that's gonna get rid of that top bar you don't want that you'll have to do it again if you do so so now we've got this guy right here we're gonna want to undo this again open it up and this time we're gonna be going for the two up in the top right hand corner 750 by 750 top right make sure you're pressing the right layer ray copy paste and as you can see there is a nice sharp line right in the middle you're doing great you're almost done now you're going to want to open your canvas tool once again for the last time and change it to the size of your original canvas so it should be 1500 by 1500 and make sure you press bottom left also along with that make sure this this button once again is turned off and as you can see there is a nice spot for your last little guy to go looking pretty good undo for the final time open this up do this again you're almost there you're so close go down to four if i can press things copy paste you should be done that's it that's it you're finally done the first half of this now you're gonna want to test this to make sure it 100 percent works before you move on any further to do that you're gonna want to open your materials tab which is in the top left hand corner below the edit and layer button open this up you should see something that looks like this now what you're going to want to do you're going to want to press this button right here it says add material from canvas it's going to yell at you press ok i already have it i've already have it saved over here <laughs> now you're going to want to make a new layer hide the old one make sure you're on the, the second layer and paste that in now if you've done it correctly it should look like this. Woo! Congratulations, you did it. It works. If not, that's okay. Try again. It's a little bit annoying at first to get. Now on to the final step. You're gonna wanna fill out these gaps right here so it looks a little bit more seamless. And I will, once you get to that point, So you've gone ahead and finished closing up any gaps that needed to be closed. You are officially done. All you have to do once again is save, save the material. We'll go over that again quickly. Add a material from canvas, make sh making sure you're on the right layer. Add a material from canvas. It will yell at you a little bit. Maybe give it, maybe give it a name if you'd like to. And finally, give it a quick test to make sure that it works. And as you can see, it works just fine that is all for today i hope you guys enjoyed have a great rest of your week goodbye